Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And first we will talk about your homework. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check the, my previous video there. I said you should make some uh, little the homework. Uh, right now I will talk about that one because I'm 100% sure you have some problems. I hope you did all the doors right. So I will now hide the my PDF because I cannot see you cannot see what's going on right now on my screen. I hope you placed all the doors or the doors and you don't have any problems but I'm pretty sure you have problems with that type of the doors on this side let's have a look uh, what I'm talking about I will just uh, place again my PDF and you will see a uh, door here with the with the curtain wall so um, the secret is you have two ways how you can create kind of door the first way you should put your curtain wall you should use the a panel like a wall and you can place inside this wall uh, your mm, door or the second way you can uh, change the panel to the panel uh, I mean the glazed mm, glazed door so I will show you the second way because it's must, uh, much, much easiest but um, anyway you will see how it works Let's put our, um, let's place our curtain wall here. Let's go to the wall. Here we will find the curtain wall and now I will use exterior glazing. Uh, no, sorry, we will use the storefront. Let's place our storefront from the one side to the other side. Like this. Okay, and I will go to 3D view. I wanna show you what's going on here. As you can see, here is my curtain wall. But why it's curtain wall not inside the wall? The secret is because uh, actually we changed uh, uh, we changed direction. I mean that we changed the distance uh, of our wall. Actually, our wall is here. So don't forget, this is one thing what you should know about the our plan uh, because it's not uh, so correct on PDF if you remember that. So let's say I'll place my curtain wall. Sorry, Control Z. Uh, wall and I will find here the storefront. Okay, so let's check it out. Is it uh, automatically ended? Not. I will do that and let's place it. Let's place it. So everything correct and let's place it on that side too. Everything correct and let's place it here too. So we will do all these things. So here is my wall. Just be accurate to see where is the my wall. Okay, so everything all right, and we what gonna do now? We should make this uh, this kind of uh, mullions. So let's check it out. The distance, distance is uh, 500 millimeters. Select your uh, your storefront and just use the this section box, and you will see only now your storefront. Okay, so I will select that. Uh, I mean, the, I will select my curtain wall, and I will use the curtain grids. Now I need one curtain grid here and one curtain grid here. This curtain grid I will delete. Just unpin it and use um, the key delete. Let's say here 500 millimeters and here I will say 500 millimeters. So like this and we get like 500 here, 500 here. Let's go to the mullions and let's place some of the mullions. So I wanna use the rectangular uh, mullions. I will place it like that. Okay, and here, here, and uh, now I will use only grid line segment, and you will see I have everywhere except this panel. This panel now we will use the top key, select this panel, make sure this is unpin panel, and let's check it out. Do we have here the wall? Oh, uh, I mean the door. Don't. So let's go now to the input insert. And here you will find the load family. Let's go inside the loading family. We should go to the uh, to the doors. Uh, actually, a curtain. It's a, a bit strange. You should go to the. Um, yeah, we should go to the doors, and we should find here the external doors. And let's check it out with that, because it should be um, transparent glazing. No, it should be curtain wall basement. So let's find it. Uh, so it internal doors. I will find it right now. No, it's not. It's just a uh, type of that. Ah, uh, flash doors, glazing, not, 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 not here. Ah, uh, so I think it's under the under the window let's find under the window 
structure one no under the window we don't have any any doors okay so i hope you will find here the ah yeah curtain wall panel here it's different one because um, actually i pretty uh like when you're placing door to the doors windows to the windows not in different curtain wall panels so let's go inside the curtain wall panels and let's see do we have here a door yes we have the glazed doors one type the glazed door the other type i will use actually that type not uh yeah that type let's open up it in just few seconds if you want if you want you can save just use top key on this panel and now let's change this panel to the door so here is our door done we have now the door here. If you will go to the level zero, I mean to ground floor, you will find here is the door, here is our curtain wall. The same thing we should make uh, on the other side. So yes, you should make it one by one because curtain wall is actually a unique thing. You cannot just copy paste it. Uh, better don't copy paste it because you will get some problems later on. Uh, so again, unpin it, delete. Here we will do 500 millimeters. Here we will do the same 500 millimeters. Okay, and after that go to the mullion, choose the rectangular mullion, place mullions everywhere except the uh, the lower part. You don't put here any. Just use grid line to make only one segment here and only one segment here. Use the tab key to select this panel, select this panel, go to the uh, type one and use glass double door. Okay, so here we are, and let's make it one more time. So I'm doing as you see uh, with you. Uh, let's use, let's select your uh, curtain wall. After that, go to the selection box. Here we are. After that, you what you should do? Go to the architecture, find here the curtain grid. Place one grid, place second grid. Select one of the grid. Say 500 millimeters. Only for the right side. If you wanna uh, move to the left side. The same thing here, if you want to move to the right side, you should write on the left side. So this is like, um, it's like a standard. Uh, let's change the panel, just select on that, or no, yeah, uh, we will put our first mullions. Let's use the mullions, one mullion, second one, third, and here, here, and by segments, one segment, third segment. Uh, select panel again and say the door here done. So we have the door So everywhere now we have the doors, but what the problem? I'm going to the 3d and I cannot see all my 3d What's going on because now you will find here under the properties of 3d view You will find section box on just uncheck it and you will see your model whole your model And as you can see we did everything right so here is our uh, windows and it's really working and here is also our windows and it's, it's really also working pretty awesome right so let's go back to the our uh, level zero and i will say your the next assignment so this will be your next assignment to the next tutorial the next assignment it will be about your floor uh, actually, I will create now with you the one floor, but the second type of the floor you will do by yourself. Um, one thing, uh, if you are working with the commercial building and with a really huge client, uh, sometimes uh, they will ask you create a separate floor for each your room. Yes, this the uh, sometimes it's uh, working, uh, this kind of a rule when you want to calculate something and uh, you cannot create one union uh, floor for everything but we don't have the big client we don't have like a big uh, object we have like our own smart home that's it so it means like we have this so small uh, house and we can control everything manually so that's why we can create one big union floor it's working but don't forget if you will work in big company they not will accept this way so it will be wrong okay so let's go back to the floor and we will use some conceptual floor i will use uh this um, which one i don't have here any type of the floor which i want i will use for example this uh, floor timber and i will change it let's go to the edit type and what i'm gonna do i will say this will be floor concrete only concrete without anything so this will be concrete and what I'm gonna do I will go to inside of the structure and I will delete the 
interior uh, finish uh, finish thing. So let's delete it. And we will say this will be 200 millimeters only concrete. So let's say OK. Uh, let's say OK again. And here we are. We can now draw the boundary. Let's draw the boundary. I, really, I prefer draw it manually or you can use, for example, to pick the lines. It's only up to you again. Uh, how to draw your boundary inside? Uh, I mean, um, it's, should you connect it with your walls or should you connect inside the walls? I will show you right now. Let's change our view to the hidden line because I want to see where is the my walls and uh, actually I will hide my PDF because I now want to see my PDF again so where is my PDF PDF file I want to I want to select you oh sorry the my floor I should be say no I don't want to create it and I want to hide my PDF so here we are let's go back to the floor let's choose our floor where is our floor concrete oh it's not here let's create it again uh, yeah, this happens when you will uh, say uh, you know, when you will mm, end your uh, when you not finish your uh, your changes. Concrete. Okay, edit this one. I wanna delete and I wanna say two hundred millimeters only. So okay, done, done, done. So let's draw it. How I prefer draw my floor uh, inside to the wall, only inside to the wall, not outside, no inside, uh, no uh, in interior one. I mean only inside the core. We have the reason why. Maybe later on you will see why. Uh, so let's draw it everywhere. I, as I said, this is our building, uh, uh, not big one. We don't have the big client. We can do how we want. Don't forget to close the boundary. So we did it, as you can see. So I'll check it here. So everything all right. And let's say OK. Let's go now to the 3D view and let's check it out. OK, here's our floor, as you can see. So pretty awesome. Is it working? Is it working? OK, so we will live like like that. So your assignment will be create on the first level the your uh, floor plan. Just uh, see on the uh, on this thing. Here you should have the double uh, double height. So do is here you don't not will have any floor on this side. You don't you not will have. Okay. So I will show you right now. This will be better like this. Here with you don't have any floor. Okay. Uh, also you don't have any floor on on that side and that side because you have. Here the bridge, as you can see, glass bridge. Just check it out, okay? Uh, so it means your floor will be only that side. I will show you. Only this side, except this part, okay? So except this part. Here you not will have any floor. So here is your boundary on this side. Just draw this wall or uh, floor, and after that create the separate one floor on this side. It will be like your bridge. So if you will do that, it will be pretty awesome. If not, I will show you how you can create it. So this is simple, uh, actually simple um, your uh, homework. I think you will do it fast. Anyway, try it. If not, uh, just check my um, uh, next tutorial and you will see how you can do that really fast. Okay, guys, for today it's finished. Thank you for watching and see you next time.